Hi, my name is Jamini Tu and I'm a marine biologist working in Hong Kong. This is part two of a day in the life of a marine biologist where I'm showing you how we do the biodiversity sampling. So just to explain what this means a little bit more clearly. So biodiversity in this instance refers to the variety of different species, so the variety of different animals which we find in a particular area. And for this project, that area is the oyster habitat. So what we do is we go to different oyster habitat all around Hong Kong. We do the biodiversity sampling. So we collect samples of different animals which are on the surface, so animals that we can visually see. And then we dig into the sediment, so the mud or the sand or even the rocks on the ground to see what animals we can find in there. The reason that we do this is because, well, firstly, a lot of animals do actually live in the sediment. So firstly, we'll, you know, visually pick through any animals that we can identify as animals ourselves, just visually. After that, you'll see us scooping up a lot of the, the mud, the sediment, and putting it into bags and lugging it back to the lab with us. We do this because we will be doing DNA analysis on it. And to explain this very, very simply, when an animal has been in a particular place, it will either shed skin or scales or even poop and leave a DNA signature that it has been in that place, even if it is not there anymore. And by doing a DNA analysis on the sediment, you can record and catalog that a species has been there, even if it's no longer there. And this is really useful when you are trying to record animals that will typically either run or swim away when you approach them. So it's a really, really useful technique which we are going to be using during these surveys. Today we're going to be going to one of my favourite sites, right up north in Hong Kong, right at the border to China. So yep, it's going to be another warm one and it's going to be very, very muddy today. So I will change my clothes and then let's go. Definitely the muddiest site we've been to. Blimey. Ashley has got herself stuck in this very compromising position. Yeah, it's not very <laughs> Do you need help? You can see this site is quite a bit muddier. Oh dear. Top. Oh, nice one. One, two. Look at that. A big E4, a free, and then a full tiny one over there. Yum, yum, yum. I'll give you a number for this one. What a beauty. Up there, holding that oyster. Dead one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo -hoo. What is that? Oh, it's cool, man. It's so cool. It's so nice. I'll leave you alone. Oh. Okay. <laughs> sorry. The blue summer crab. Cute. 
So the thing at the back, it's a uh, you use it to swim? Yeah, I used to do that. Yeah. Oh nice. And it's a male. Yeah? Looking at me. Ah. Oh. oh, you stupid little thing. Oh, it's only mud. So that is it for the survey today. We had a really successful day. It was so so muddy. But um, yeah, I've got a really great group that I'm working with, so it's always a lot of fun to go out with them. Next week, we are gonna be doing some sorting. So all the things that we have been collecting, we've been out all week and you know previous weeks before this as well. Um, and everything's currently stored in the freezers or in ethanol. So we're gonna be sat at the microscopes with books and uh, our laptops and we will be trying to ID the different species which we have found. For the rest of the summer, it's pretty much gonna be field work one week and then sorting the next week. So it's gonna be really intense field work followed by really intense sorting and kind of alternating weeks pretty much for the rest of the summer and then we will do the same again in the winter thanks for watching to the end if you have any questions on the project please do let me know if you're in Hong Kong and you would like to help out with the project we are always looking for volunteers so feel free to get in contact if you want to come out and see uh, what it is we're doing if you think it looks like fun and yes thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye